Gisela is um, uh, an immigrant, uh, undocumented. Uh, we've only just met her in the past few days, um, but we understand that uh, she had been um, instructed by Immigration and Customs Enforcement to prepare to leave the United States and the departure date was uh, yesterday. To be a sanctuary church, basically, we it's, a, it's an exercise in faith for us. Uh, we, we, our core faith values include love for our neighbor and uh, welcoming the stranger among us uh, with as, as much hospitality as we can muster. We began having conversation, and we were in conversation for several weeks um, because we needed to understand really the nature of her request, the nature of her case, uh, we have a process for this. I mean, this is something that's not done lightly. Uh, this is an individual and a family that is essentially giving up a lot of their freedom um, to be part of a sanctuary um, process. And so we undertake this uh, not lightly at all. Sí, es cierto. Um, yo I heard from my friends that about the sanctuary, but I, was, I didn't pay no mind to what they were saying. And then through destiny and faith, I went to the store, and at the store I saw the same flyer, and it had a number that says that if you need this, you should call. But I left the store, and I didn't didn't pay no mind. But something in me said you got to go back, and I went back and decided something was saying, telling me call, call, and I called. Mucho miedo, mucha preocupación. A lot of fear, anxiety. Um, for both my husband and I, but even worse for my kids because we are we are not together. They're not with the father. For the last five years, I've been in contact with ICE. Every month, I had to go and check in, and for the last five years, especially the last two years, they've been telling me that we go let you know what's going to happen. But last month, they told me that I, they gave me an ultimatum of, that I had to go to my country. I felt sad, but at the same time, I had the courage to ask the agent um, to give me more time, to give me more time to prepare. But he said that he couldn't give me any more time. Para personas, digo como yo, que I think it's unfair, especially for people like me, who come to this country to, for a better future and come here to work. We don't hide from anything. Um, I understand if it were to be for people who are committing crimes, but at least me, I don't think I have done anything. My oldest, I, I, had, I try to have conversations with him and make him, make him understand, but he just told me not to leave him, and he's, he just become really sad because he doesn't want me to leave. And my youngest, I don't, I don't have any conversation like that because he doesn't understand yet. I'm very positive. I believe in God, and I know God will help me. I know it's not a house, but I feel comfortable. I feel like I'm at home. I feel like I'm, I have a home, especially of the way they're treating me. I feel like I'm with a family.